Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. James and St. Brendan's Anglican Church for Thursday, February the 3rd. Our morning prayer service again is taken from the New Zealand Prayer Book. Let us just take a moment to still our hearts and prepare ourselves for this morning's prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, help us to live respectfully on these lands, seeking justice and help. Help us to pray to you in faith, sing to you with gratitude, and listen to your word with eagerness, so that we might follow Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Great is the Lord and worthy of all praise. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come into the divine present with a song. Know this, the Lord, the Lord is God. The one made us is the one to whom we belong. We are God's people, the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the gates of the Lord with thanksgiving. Go into these courts with praise. Give thanks to God and call upon the Lord. For the Lord is good whose steadfast love is everlasting and whose faithfulness endures from age to age. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us praise and worship God who has called us together. Let us celebrate God's majesty and delight in the wonder of God's love. Together we shall confess our sins and re re receive assurances that we are forgiven. As the scriptures are read, we can allow God's words to speak to us, ponder its meaning for our lives. In our prayers, we give thanks for God's goodness. We pray for others as well as ourselves, and we offer our lives anew in Christ. All this we do because we believe in the presence among us, our Savior, Jesus Christ and in the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Hear these words of scripture. If we claim to be sinless, we are self-deceived and strangers to the truth. If we confess our sins, God is just and may be trusted to forgive our sins and cleanse us from every kind of wrong. Spirit of God, search our hearts. In silence, remember our needs for God's forgiveness. Let us confess our sins to God. God of mercy, we have sinned against you and against others. We have sinned in what we have done and what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. And for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, forgive us all that is past and raise us to new life. Amen. Almighty God, who pardons all who truly repent, forgive your sins, strengthen you by the Holy Spirit and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Redeemer. Amen. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us rejoice in the rock of our salvation. We sing to you, O God, and bless your name, and tell of our salvation from day to day. We proclaim your glory to the nations, your praise to the ends of the earth. The first reading is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians chapter 4, verses 9 through 13. For I think that God has exhibited us apostles 
as last of all, as though sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to mortals. We are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You have held in honor, but we in dispute. To the present hour, we are hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clothed, beaten and homeless, and we grow weary for the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We have become the rubbish of the world, the dredges of all things to this very day. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. We will say Psalm 70 responsibly by the full verse. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who put to shame and confusion, who seek my life, let those be turned back and brought to dishonor, who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer, O God. Do not delay. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever will be. Amen. Giver of courage, when your path is hard and dangerous, give us the grace of quiet confidence. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. He also said, the kingdom of God is as, is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day and the seed would grow and sprout. He does not know how the earth produces of itself, first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle because the harvest has come. He also said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use it for? It is like a mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all seeds on the earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make their nests in the shade. The Gospel of Christ. Let us profess our faith of our baptism as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He, he descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ, you promise to hear your people when we pray to you in faith with thanksgiving. We pray for one another, for our family and friends, through whom we learn to love and be loved. Thank you for all who care for us. 
Give us grace to serve Christ by serving our neighbors and our community, loving others as he loves us. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cries come to you. We thank you for the unfailing love you hold out to everyone in Jesus Christ. Comfort and heal those in sorrow, need, sickness, and any other trouble. Give them courage and hope in their distress and bless those who minister to them. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cries come to you. We remember with gratitude and many gifts for the many gifts you give us in creation, the rich heritage of these lands. Help us and people everywhere to share with justice and peace the resources of the earth. Give wisdom to those in authority among us and to all leaders of all nations. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cries come to you. We pray for our church throughout the world, thanking you for all who serve Christ in his kingdom. By your spirit, strengthen your people for your work and witness to the world. Unite us in truth and love, that we who confess your name may also reflect your glory. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cries come to you. We remember with thanksgiving all who have died in Christ. We rejoice at the faithful witness of our saints in every age, praying that we may enter with them into the unending joy of your heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cries come to you. Merciful Lord, you look with compassion on those who turn to you. Hear the prayers of your people. Grant that what we ask, we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of mercy, you have given us grace to pray with one heart and one voice and have promised to hear the prayers of two or three who have agreed in your name. Fulfill now, we pray, the prayers and longing of your people as may be best for us and for your kingdom. Grant to us in this world to know your truth and in the world to come to see your glory. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, increase in us your gift of faith and forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to what is before. We may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praise into one, let us pray as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and glory forever and ever, amen. May the strength of God sustain you. May the power of God preserve you. May the hands of God protect you. And may the way of God direct you. And may the blessing of God go with you, this day and forever. Amen. Our service is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you again for watching this morning and participating. I hope you have a very blessed week. Take care and be safe.